All eyes on Michael in the Gulf of Mexico. The good news, at least for us in the southern U.S., is that we're not going to take a direct hit with Michael. It is going to be shifted a little farther east and Florida and parts of the uh, Gulf Coast there will have some big impacts, unfortunately, with that. We will be watching Sergio, though, in the uh, eastern Pacific. That'll bring some rainfall as we roll into the upcoming weekend and the extended outlook into next week does show some chilly temps. So there's Michael, again, uh, tracking towards Florida, a major Category 4 storm with 130 mile per hour winds. That's where you have those hurricane warnings, tropical storm warnings as well. And the tropical storm watches stretch as uh, far west as uh, Mississippi there. So the good news again is that the brunt of the storm is going to be uh, shifted a little farther east. There's the track up into the uh, Carolinas as we head into the uh, next couple of days. Hurricane Sergio, though, was a hurricane a couple of days ago, now dropped down to a tropical storm, as I mentioned. And then, of course, we're going to be watching this storm move into the southern U.S by Friday and Saturday with another round of heavier rain. Yesterday was very wet. Of course, a record amount of rain falling in Dallas at two and a quarter inches, one and a half there in Little Rock. We had uh, two and a third in Kansas City, Missouri. Even some severe weather across the region, but this is how much rain we've had this uh, October. which has been very impressive. In fact, uh, almost 10 inches of rain in Kansas City and uh, now dealing with significant surpluses in a few spots so far for the year. But of course, you can see the flood concerns do continue as much rain as we've had.